Welcome back to another episode guys. We are out here today in search of some big lake trout early this morning. We're starting off for about five miles offshore out on a couple humps here and uh, we're gonna see if we can get some hogs. We got one on right now and uh, just beautiful flat calm morning out here. Awesome morning. This feels like a pretty good fish. Well guys, we're still kind of setting up here. Well, Kyle's still setting up, but he told me to just cast while he's setting stuff up. And this was my second cast. So I was just trying to get the speed right for reeling it in. My first cast, I, I went pretty fast. And this one, I did a couple cranks fast and then maybe two cranks a little bit slower. And that was what he wanted. So we'll see how big he is. See what we got here. people gotta do this I haven't even had my coffee yet that's what he's saying oh yeah first trout of the morning guys just got out here Maggie's second cast look at that big fat leg trout <laughs> he's a chunky boy so awesome well guys I don't know if you can see his fins they're just absolutely beautiful maybe we if we could zoom in a little bit, but he's got just orange fins with those beautiful white tips on him, and oh, he's feisty. He wants to go back. He's ready. We're gonna get him going back. Maggie with just a beautiful lake trout to start the morning. Second cast right out of the gate, huh? Yeah, I wasn't honestly ready, but then I felt him, and I was like, I guess it's time. Let's get him going <laughs> time back. To start the day. Fish on. There we go. Man, he hit that on the drop there, guys. I was, uh, I've been feeling it. Uh, I mean, I've been burning it back in. And, uh, they haven't been wanting it like that thus far. I was on the drop. I let that sucker sink and it was just a thump. What do you got on there? Laker taker, baby. Oh! <laughs> Whoever said lake trout don't fight, man. <laughs> These things rip out here. You get them in this cold water, you know, early in the season, and it's just, oh, they're drag peelers. It's awesome. They're, this is some of my favorite fishing. I look, I've been looking forward to this all year. Coming out here, we're in Lake Michigan right now, about four or five miles offshore. Nobody out here can't, haven't seen another boat. And we got fish on. It's just awesome. It's just another nice lake trout. Oh. Oh. Gosh, man. What a fighter. Oh. Just peeling some drag. Unreal. Gosh. Just such great fighters. Light tackle. Gosh, look at this thing. I didn't even think. 
gosh. I can see that we're in 50 feet of water. I can see the bottom right now. And just this big trout is just having, can't get them off the bottom. Oh, look at them. Finally got him close to the boat here, guys. Man, he just would not come off the bottom. Just a big leg trout. Oh, I don't know if this net is going to be big enough. That's a um, good problem to have. Yeah, I might have to break out the big guns. Oh, he's just barely, man. What a gorgeous lake trout, guys. Look at this thing. Oh, just an awesome fight. Uh, we're going to get him going back, show him to you guys quick, and uh, catch another one out here. Just a beautiful day. There's one. Oh, on the drop again. 40 feet of water, came up in here a little shallower, guys. Oh! Oh my gosh. We got a hot one. We've got a hot one. Just been kind of just putzing around, you know, just uh, covering a little water. And these fish, when they're there and they want to bite, they sure are biting. It doesn't feel like he's a monster, but it feels like he's pretty good size, though. Ripped a little drag there at first. Let's see what we got here. Oh, he's just, he's not bad, though. He's definitely respectable. Oh, he had another one just following him. Pretty cool guys, pretty cool. Just playing with him. We're just gonna pop him off and let him go. Maybe we'll hold him up if he if he's hooked deep. But, oh, he's just rolling, he's rolling, he's thrashing, he's just thrashing. There he goes, back down to the bottom. <laughs> it's just burning runs, man. Gosh, what a blast. Get him back. He would he might have torn the net apart there. I knew he wasn't ready yet. Could have netted him there, but we're just having fun out here. We're catching release anyway today, so just an amazing experience. I mean, you sight fish these things. Alright guys, just another beautiful lake trout there. Gosh, those fins are just so pretty. On the Captain Jay's blade bait. Just another beautiful mac and all there, guys. He, they've been wanting it on the fall today. He just kind of rip jigging it up, you know, ripping it up, letting it fall, ripping it up, letting it fall, and that's how they've wanted it. Uh, so we're gonna get this get this guy going back here. There you go. Make sure <clears throat> my drag wasn't too tight. Just, oh, he's doing all kinds of stuff. He's showing off. It's Cirque du Soleil out here. Ooh. Holy mama! Where's he going? Oh, oh, he's yeah. sad and mad. What a beautiful lake trout. Oh my gosh. What Holy a pig. mama, he's big. He's heavy. I knew he was a little bit, at least a little bit bigger than the first one just by how heavy he felt. I mean, he was pulling down to the bottom, but this is so much fun. Look at that beautiful lake trout there, guys. Check out those amazing, awesome fins and 
Just a gorgeous fish. Cast and blade baits out here. Light tackle, can't beat it. Nice job, Maggie. Thanks. It's cool fins, look at those spots. Big fire tiger girl. Oh, there's one. Oh, dude. That one hit it cranking in. We're on them. It's uh, about every cast now. <laughs> this is two casts in a row. Gosh. Got the bugs out here. Just flat calm this morning. I can see this fish thrashing. About 50 feet down there, I can see him thrashing. He's coming up now, but oh my gosh. That is so cool. You can just see him just munch that blade there. Oh, just another oh. pig. <laughs> I thought he was gonna come out. Just, oh, just another nice, big, fat leg trout. Look at that thing. Oh man. What a cool fish, man. What a cool fish. Just another big fat lake trout. Just a beautiful Mackinac. Those orange fins are just gorgeous on them. On the Captain Jay's blade bait, this one just slapped the fire frog. Gosh, what a beautiful morning out here. Flat, calm, just can't beat it. <laughs> Guys, we are really excited. We had a cannonball on this thing. And what I mean by that is a camera actually we got this underwater camera and every time I threw it out it was like a basketball kaboosh but we wanted to see if we could get one chasing it and biting it on the camera because we thought that'd be a pretty cool shot um so we'll see I hope we got it this shot because that's gonna be pretty cool but let's see what we got here oh it actually is a nice fish too I hope it's on the camera man We just been using this little net here, guys, having some fun with them, just because it's uh, so easy to get them out. But look at this lake try. Just another beauty. This is another gorgeous fish. <laughs> it's so much fun on this light tackle, cast and retrieve. We're gonna get them going back. So guys, we're out here today just hopping these blade baits. Uh, we're fishing Captain Jay's blade baits. They're a half ounce blade, and uh, we're just whipping them out there and just kind of hopping them back in. You know, sometimes we've been just steady retrieving them or kind of a fast retrieve, and that's worked. But for the most part today, just kind of hopping them back in has been working the best. Now, I got all kinds of different rods here for this style of fishing, but uh, I like like a seven to eight foot rod for this style of fishing. Medium light's perfect. I like light tackle. Um, you can really feel those fish fight and pull. And uh, we just have a 15 pound braided line as our main line here, and just a small black barrel swivel. Then I have 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. So I have about a foot and a half, maybe two feet, about two feet of 12 pound fluorocarbon. And uh, just have a small black snap there. Not a swivel, just a snap. And uh, my half ounce Captain Jay's blade bait here. But so how we're fishing them, guys, is we're just whipping them out there. So just whipping them out as far as we can here, okay? Just gonna whip it out there and then I'm gonna 
just let it sink. And I like when it's sinking, I like a tight line because a lot of times they'll, you'll feel them thump it on the way down. So, you know, I got a tight line. I'm just letting it sink. I'm going to let it sink for about 10, 15 seconds. Okay, and let you, you'll feel them a lot of times when they hit it on the fall. It'll be the thump. And if you feel that, just come back on them. Now, with this style of fishing, guys, you don't want to set the hook too hard on them. You just, when they hit it, you know, you just want to ease back into them. And you want your drag set so it's going to slip a little bit. Because if you have a tight drag and a big trout hits that thing, especially if he hits it really aggressively, you know, you're going to snap off those fish a lot of times. So you just want it, you know, hop in this blade bait. I'm going to reel a couple times, let it fall, hop it, reel a couple times, let it fall. Now when you let it fall, they'll hit it. We've caught a lot of fish like that today when it's fallen. So when it's falling, you just want a nice tight line and you're gonna, you'll feel them thump and then you just come back on them nice and easy. You don't wanna try to just swing for the fences with this stuff because you'll snap a lot off with hook sets. So then I got my drag set so it just slips a little bit. Gonna hop it back, reel down so it's tight. Let it fall for a few seconds. Hop it back, let it fall, hop it back. Guys, it kind of seems like they want it today while the blade bait is falling. This is the third one in, what do you think, 30 minutes? 20, 30 minutes? He feels a bit <laughs> heavier. He's still pretty far down. Feels heavier than my first one this morning, so. Nice fish. Yeah, most of them have been on that fall, hey? But we yeah. got a couple reeling in fast, but most of them have been on that fall. His bugs. Thought maybe he's just pulling harder. Who knows? It's hard as hell. We're on him in this 40 feet of water. Oh, there he is. Look at him. Just another massive lake trout this is still really early in the morning I don't, and what is this eight nine fish so far in the boat and they've all been big so it's been a great day so far and it's still early so we got plenty of time to keep at it got a few bugs out here but man just some gorgeous fish beautiful mackinac lake trout just beautiful orange fins on them crushing blade baits with light tackle Look at those just gorgeous fins, man. Just a cool fish. This is a really cool fish. We're going to send him home with oh. his other buddies. <laughs> Big so fat good. lake trout. All right. Wow, he is just hugging the bottom and just thrashing down there. Oh. Can you see him? No, he's, I can see the bottom. We're in, oh, actually, marking some bait. Oh, I see some bait down there. I just saw a bunch of bait down there, guys. There's a cloud of bait on the graph and a big trout swimming through them. Just a big trout beat down out here, guys. We haven't even caught a small fish yet today, and it's only probably eight o'clock in the morning. We've only been out here a couple hours, so well, just an epic day. We're gonna send this guy back home here. Okay, gosh. All right, it's so cool, the water's so clear. Just see right to the bottom. In about 40 feet of water, you can see him diving down on the graph. We were just marking clouds of bait coming through, and Maggie's like, oh, look at the fish streaking through there, and wham, hooked one up. So, i just been hammering them out here.
Okay guys, we just had an epic morning out here. We've caught so many trout, but we're, we're just playing with some underwater footage right now. So we actually had a little camera that we've been putting on our line as we were casting, as you saw in a couple of those clips earlier. But uh, we're gonna, we gotta, we, we try to put a GoPro on a downrigger here, and we're gonna see what we can find down there. So we're gonna put the deadliest lake trout rig known to mankind out. This is a chrome spin doctor with a rapture lake trout rig. And uh, we're gonna send this down on the downrigger. We're just gonna troll one line and just see if we can get a few cool shots. So we're just gonna put this back about five feet. We're gonna see how close we can get him to the ball. That way we can see it really good. Okay. Okay. Send her down to the depths. Send this contraption down there. Well, we just tried trolling one rod with the GoPro on the downrigger here, but uh, I think the GoPro was spooking them. We tried to cover it up a little bit. The, the, I think the blinking and flashing lights was spooking them. It looked like on the graph we had a lot of fish coming in and looking at the bait, so we're gonna take this home and see, but uh, yeah, hopefully we got some cool stuff, but they just wouldn't commit. We had we only had the lure like five feet behind the ball just to try to get a uh, cool close-up shot, but we'll see what we got. 